retailing for $49, but yours for free, only with this edition of Computer Music. Audified in Valve Effects is a bundle of three fantastic plugins, each one emulating a particular analog style effect. InValve Compressor is a tube compressor complete with adjustable saturation amount. InValve Equalizer is a four-band parametric tube EQ, again featuring a dedicated knob for upping the distortion. And InValve Preamp is a low-resource one-knob option for when you just want the saturation from the other two plugins. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to download, register and install InValve effects, then take you on a whistle-stop tour of their controls and features. The first thing to do is get your license code from Audified. Start by creating an account on the Audified website or logging in if you already have one. Head to the Invalve Effects product page and click Add to Cart. Then click Checkout in the panel that pops down from the top of the page. Enter the discount coupon number from the magazine into the discount field and click Apply to set the price to zero. Fill in your address and phone number, then click Continue to Shipping Method, Continue to Payment Method, Review Order, then Complete Order. Within a few minutes, you'll receive an email containing your personal Invalve Effects serial number. In the email, select and copy the serial number, then click the Download Here button to open the Audified download form in your browser. Paste the serial number into the form, and your email address and name, tell Audified what OS and door you're going to be using, and hit download. With the installer downloaded, double click it and follow the instructions to install Invalve Effects. Invalve Effects comprises three plugins. InValve Preamp, InValve Compressor, and InValve Equalizer. Preamp is the most straightforward of the bunch, a tube amplifier emulation that saturates the signal with analog style distortion. To apply it, simply raise the valve saturation knob. It works a treat for warming up instruments, group buses, and even, in small doses, the mix bus. InValve Compressor emulates valve compression at ratios of up to 50 to 1, and if you've ever used a compressor before, you'll feel right at home. With the ratio set anywhere above 1 to 1, reducing the threshold applies compression, automatically lowering the gain of the signal whenever it exceeds the level set in decibels. The higher the ratio and lower the threshold, the more pronounced and obvious the compression. The attack and release time knobs are used to shape the onset and cessation of compression. Raising the attack knob delays the gain reduction when the threshold is exceeded by up to 200 milliseconds. With drums, for example, you'll usually want to set it so that the initial transients are allowed through unattenuated. Release sets the amount of time it takes for the signal to return to its uncompressed level whenever it drops back below the threshold. Applying compression reduces the overall level of the signal, but you can bring it back up with the gain makeup knob. Finally, the valve saturation knob dials in the distortion algorithm from InValve Preamp.
valve equaliser is a four-band parametric EQ with additional low and high pass filters. The filter cutoff frequencies range from 1 to 20 kHz. and 30 hertz to 3 kilohertz respectively. While the low and low mid parametric bands each sweep from 30 hertz to 3 kilohertz. And the high mid and high bands operate between 1 and 20 kilohertz. Switch the low and high bands between peak and shelving modes with their type buttons. Up to 15 decibels of cut or boost is available to every band, with the sharpness of the peaks or shelves set by the Q knobs. Once again, in Valve Preamp's Valve Saturation knob brings the heat, while the Master Gain Control raises or lowers the final output of the plug-in by up to 15 decibels. If you're as impressed by the sound of in-valve effects as we are, you'll also want to check out the full Audified range at www.audified.com.